my god, can you see how red it's making my skin? I don't know about this, guys, but um, I'm gonna cover my whole body in it and we will see in the morning. And honestly, it's kind of like burning on my cheeks and under my eyes a little bit. This is literally kind of hurting my face right now. Oh my, this is not good. My under eyes are burning. Ow. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Tasha here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a 24 hour challenge video. So for 24 hours I'm going to be using only Poundland Beauty. Now you may have seen this trend floating around YouTube a little bit. A lot of different YouTubers have chosen brands which you may not necessarily think to go to for different beauty products and then put them to the test for 24 hours by only using that exact brand. And today I have chosen to do that with Poundland. So if you guys are excited for this video too then please do give the video a thumbs up and if you are new here then hello welcome to my channel so I popped into my Poundland today and was actually really impressed by the range of stuff they had now I'm starting this video in the evening so that I can test out removing my makeup and also I need to have a shower so tonight I'm gonna have a shower and also I bought a gradual tan so I'm gonna tan tonight exfoliate moisturize test out all those kind of products and then the video will follow on to tomorrow morning testing out more products throughout the 24 hours so here is a little sneak peek into all the bits I picked up. I feel like I picked up more than I realised and as you can see I've got quite a lot of makeup products, got a lot of beauty there, we've got different skincare bits and just general like everyday products that I'm gonna need. So you will see me testing these throughout today's video. Okay, first thing on my list to do tonight is to remove my makeup. Now there was kind of two options for makeup remover and that was a pack of face wipes or they did actually sell the Nivea micellar water for a pound which I have in my drawer and obviously that is actually a really good price being able to pick it up for a pound however I thought we'd try out something that was Poundland's own brand just to see how well it works really so you guys know my go-to face wipes are the cool as a cucumber face wipes from Primark they smell unreal they take my makeup off so well really good for my skin it will be hard to sway me from those as they are my favorites but I've got one out it's feeling quite a thick white. This one feels quite dry. Doesn't smell of anything, but then again, sometimes again, you don't want it too fragranted, especially if you've got sensitive skin. So let's put it to the test. See, you can see it's coming off on the wipe. It feels quite rough on the skin, actually. And it's also feeling like I'd need to use more than one of these so therefore maybe not as good value for money because you'll end up using them up quicker. Oh my god, can you see how red it's making my skin? I think it's why I'm having to rub so hard to get it off and also like the texture of the white. It's actually making it quite red and do not recommend these for sensitive skin then if this is what it's doing to my skin and I don't really have relatively sensitive skin. It's taking off the first layer of the makeup but really don't feel like it's getting into my pores. So there is the face wipe. I mean it kind of just looks like maybe I've not used enough of it. But really that was kind of as much as I could get off with this one wipe. Wiping anymore and it doesn't even seem like the makeup's really coming off. I feel like there's affordable products which will be just as good. Like I said, Poundland was selling the micellar water for by Nivea for a pound as well. So I would actually recommend opting for that instead as I do know it is a good product. I'll still obviously use them tomorrow too. Give it a second try but I feel like there's better alternatives out there but these are the pan and wipes. So makeup is off, baby face is out. And now I'm gonna head into the shower. So I'm gonna show you what products I've picked up for my shower time. pick up some exfoliating gloves this is actually a new one in poundland selections is new on the packet and it's just a coconut body scrub but i am gonna moisturize my body i picked up this nourishing body lotion and yeah you guys know i love a bit of fake tan especially on the weekend and i thought you know what this wouldn't be a testing out beauty video if we didn't test out a tan but they only had one shade don't know if that was only in my poundland or in every poundland 
a tan for a pound seems crazy to me. The pot is relatively small. I don't know how many pumps it's going to take to cover my whole body. But um, yeah, then I just picked up one of the Just Right tanning mitts. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see how that goes on. And it will be a gradual tan. So we'll see how it looks in the morning. But let's get into showering. Okay, first thing, I'm going to see how well the shampoo feels in my hair. And how well it can work foam. And that's a little question. Mmm, smells literally so good. Really just like strawberry and raspberry. Feels nice on the hair. Feels like it's running through quite smoothly and literally smells on the grill. Time for the conditioner. Also running through the hair quite nicely. Yeah, great. The shampoo and conditioner actually. Like I said, I thought they were quite a good brand, so it really good for a pound. guys I'm fresh out of the shower obviously it was a little bit hard to show you everything and give you like a full review of it in the shower without exposing myself so I just thought I'd come and do a little rundown of the products so I really loved the shampoo and conditioner as I thought I would as they were the branded products anyway so I think they're really good to be able to pick them up for a pound I also thought the exfoliating gloves were really good I don't think you'd get too many uses out of them I might get maybe one more use out of them before needing to throw them away use them with that body scrub that I also picked up from Powerland. I actually really liked that product too. So those two I think I will be keeping and will definitely use before my pre-tan again. The product I wasn't really loving was that shower gel. I mean, it said it was lavender scent. It didn't really smell like lavender. I don't feel soothed and relaxed after using it. I wouldn't really reach for that one again. It didn't really love it. I didn't really feel like it washed me, just kind of like fell off my skin. Yeah, didn't really rate that. Didn't feel like it washed me, didn't smell nice, so. That was a little bit of a letdown. Like I said, Poundland actually do have loads of the branded ones in there. Again, really good for a pound. So now I'm going to use my moisturiser that I picked up from Poundland and also the tan and the tanning mitt. First up, I'm going to use the nourishing body lotion, basically on my whole body really, um, before trying out the tan. <laughs> Yeah, as I expected, this smells really nice and like coconutty, really smooth going on. Love it. Do love me a good moisturiser. Next up, I'm trying the tanning mitt along with the gradual tan. So let's get this out of its packet. Oh my god, yeah, this literally is like the thinnest thing. It's not very soft. And yeah, just a bit thin, but um, we'll give it a go. Is that a thing of like literally not knowing how much I'm gonna need to put on the thing either? I don't know what the color's gonna be like. Okay, let me show you it squeezing out. Oh my God, it's a really weird color. I feel a bit worried about that. It's a bit like creamy. Um, I hope it's a, I'm guessing it's a tan that you, uh, you don't see the colour going on because <laughs> there's literally no colour to it. Like not even going on. I mean it says it's a gradual tan and it is a medium so I think not that dark but you'd still expect to see a little bit of colour going on you straight away. I mean I know it then darkens gradually so like overnight but there's actually no colour going onto my skin at all. But I'm feeling like I need to put on loads when maybe I don't but because it's not coming out like colour I'm just shoving it on and you can't really see where you need to put it this I cannot see a thing and I'm just shoving on loads I'm probably going to wake up in the morning orange or something but right now it's just going on like like the moisturiser I don't know about this guys but um, I'm going to cover my whole body in it and we will see in the morning so I'll catch you once I've fully lathered myself in this stuff 
So the tan is on. I mean, I feel like not that you'd know it though. I said it was literally coming out onto the mitt. Literally looked like custard. But yeah, it was strange. And last thing for this evening, I'm going to use this moisturising face mask. It says it's a fresh rose mask. You actually get quite a lot for a pound. Looks like quite a good pot. And it's quite cute, like the packaging. I'm literally just going to smear this on with my fingers and leave it on to dry. It's not as thick as some masks that I have. It feels thick on your fingers, but once you spread it onto your face, it's kind of more feels just like a moisturiser. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how much to rub it in because it's really easy just to rub in, but that's not really the point of a face mask, is it? It's meant to just sit on your face. I shall leave this to dry and give it to you. Okay, so I've had the mask on for about five minutes and honestly it's kind of like burning on my cheeks and under my eyes a little bit, which I'm thinking is not right. It's like kind of dried a bit, but not to the point where it's like, do you know when it almost feels a bit like it's cracking and you can't really move your face? So I don't think it's an amazing mask and honestly, I'm a little bit worried what it's going to do my, to my skin or if it's going to like bring me out in spots. I can find that with some face masks. Um... I probably wouldn't recommend this one for a pound just because I feel like in places like Savers you can get some quite good branded ones. I mean, sometimes it's not all about a brand, but would maybe more rather go for that considering the fact that this is literally kind of hurting my face right now. Like, I feel like I need to go and wash it off before it maybe irritates my skin. But yeah, it's got a like burning sensation and that's not really right. Yeah, this is my skin post face mask. I mean, yeah, I don't really feel like it's feeling really hydrated and like moisturized slash glowy. I kind of just look a bit worse for wear really <laughs> i mean it's quite late and i need my sleep but last thing is to brush my teeth now i knew i wanted a toothbrush and some toothpaste but i got both for a pound and i thought what a bargain what a deal i got a toothbrush and a toothpaste for a pound now i kind of wanted to try out some kind of like teeth whitening i've seen before that they have like a teeth whitening pen I was hoping there was going to be maybe some kind of teeth whitening strips or teeth whitening toothpaste. Now, I instantly saw this and just thought it was a teeth whitening toothpaste. When you think that, just first glance, I kind of just shoved it in my basket. Turns out it's not, but still, it's going to be quite cool to try out. So yeah, this is a cleansing charcoal toothpaste. It says it's powerful for stain removal and helps reduce gum problems and yeah i was just kind of drawn to this one so i'm excited to go and try this and then we'll be ready for bed okay let's get into the packet here is what the toothpaste looks like so yeah i wonder if it's going to come out black because it is a charcoal one and then the toothbrush i'm hoping the bristles aren't going to be too hard on this to be fair again they do actually have some branded toothbrushes in poundland which again is so good for a pound they had some colgate ones so i feel like Maybe why would you not go for them? God, it's so black. <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Never had anything like this before. So. I was just about to say the toothbrush was really nice and soft, but um, when I was rinsing, I had some of the bristles like come out of my mouth and I literally could like feel them trying to slide down my throat and was kind of like gagging on them. So um. I feel like that is the only thing with a cheaper toothbrush. Like the bristles just like come out in your mouth and it's not a fun time. Other than that, my mouth actually feels so fresh and just like really minty. I'm not mad about that set. I think that's actually quite a good product from Poundland. Good morning guys. So it is the next day. It is the morning now. Update on the tan. As you can see, it's kind of non-existent. I have a little slight tint to me, um, but nothing crazy doesn't really look like i've tanned so i hate to be a slave of a product but that one i just definitely wouldn't recommend there's no way to go about it really i mean personally i feel like you can obviously get quite affordable tans in a savers the scent Maritz one for like 2.99 so i'd rather pay that extra couple of pounds and i'm actually getting a fake tan whereas with that i feel like maybe it was more of just like a tinted moisturizer but Nevertheless, my hair actually feels so soft. So it is now time to do my makeup. Now I tried to pick up what I could from the makeup section. So I will try out the bits that I've picked up today. The makeup section looked big, but then when it came to like actually trying to find the products, you kind of realized maybe they didn't have as much. But one thing they didn't have was a primer, but actually to kind of just like freshen up, 
brighten slash hydrate my face i put on like the tiniest bit of the moisturizer that i picked up and used on my body last night and that's actually gone on quite nicely on my skin my skin actually feels quite nice for popping that onto my face but first thing i'm gonna try is the foundation now this is called gorgeous flawless it's supposed to be a long lasting foundation so i'll be wearing this all day so i will let you guys know how well it sits on my face for the day also there was no testers or anything so god knows if i got the right shade i just went for this one called warm porcelain too this is what the packaging looks like and uh let's try and blend it in oh my god oh my <laughs> this is not good just this just going really patchy on the skin this beauty blender is really not helping can you see how that's kind of literally just like smearing on my face and look at the color <gasps> okay foundation is on the beauty bender literally looks battered i literally had to dab it in so many times i also did cheat a little bit and had to mix a little bit of my foundation in because honestly this is just not my shade it was so orange i think maybe where i went for the warm shade maybe i should have not gone for a warm shade um it was just so orange toned so next up they didn't have any liquid concealers which i feel like that was letting the side down a little bit went to try and find my concealer they didn't have any all they had was this hide and conceal um <laughs> natural coverage it says see this literally reminds me of like i feel like the collection ones um i used to get them when i was like first starting out makeup probably always use these and also i swear people literally used to use these back in the day as like foundation lips i remember when that was a vibe just kind of like drawing on like a little bit of crayon like it doesn't feel like i'm gonna need to blend this in because it's just kind of like it's making it a little bit lighter but just almost as if i'm just blending it in with this crayon okay well yeah it's kind of covered up under my eyes a little bit but again i wouldn't really i wouldn't really reach for the product on to powder now all they had was these pressed powders i kind of just went for a light shade again um just gonna kind of dab this in the usual areas i really just feel like with pressed powders it just doesn't feel like they're even coming out onto the brush or doing a lot i feel like it's just making me real pale but i guess that's gonna go along with the fact that i'm not even tanned <laughs> quite excited to try these lashes so they actually look quite a bit of me these are also in the dress right beauty section they are in the style vibey they're quite full and thick which may mean they might not go on easily um but they might look really nice on and a kind of more like glammy look so this is one of the eyelashes on and honestly don't like it just really not feeling it um i tried to cut it down and honestly you can tell and also you can probably see how bad my under eyes look by the way from this makeup <laughs> they were really hard to put on i just couldn't stick each end down the band was really silky i need an eyelash that's gonna go on easy i'm really not a fan of them and now i'm thinking do you know what i'm just not gonna wear lashes today um yeah <laughs> I actually thought the bronzer maybe looks like one of the better products from the Powerland makeup. This is what it looks like. The shade does look a little bit orangey, but I'm thinking maybe if I don't tap in it too much. Also, I put this on to my eyelids, just a little bit of like eyeshadow. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe if I don't tap into it too much, it won't be too bad. But um, I thought the bronzer looked alright. Actually, we'll see. Yeah, I actually quite like the bronzer. The bronzer is probably my favourite so far. You could definitely build it up. I've just gone for a more natural bronze. I've got this highlighter in the shade Champagne. Oh, that's actually pleasantly surprising. Can you actually see that, guys? Quite nice and glowy and, like, wet look on the skin. Love the tone as well. So here is the finished makeup out of the uh, products that they had and that I could use. Um, like I said, bronze and highlight are my favourites. The rest I haven't been too happy with and to be honest I'm not really too happy with the makeup look. Oh, also I have a lip colour. Which is this nude. A liquid lipstick that's meant to dry and matte. So let's test out the colour. That's actually quite nice actually. Quite like the shade of it. 
it was quite nice on the lips but yeah here is the makeup for the day so guys i've just got dressed and i'm just about to go out and brush my teeth using the charcoal toothpaste again and basically i just want to show you this next product that i'm going to try out which i picked up and thought was actually a really cool one so this is the limited edition shimmer body lotion um this is a hashtag six product which i think is like the poundlands um own beauty range brand thing i don't know it's on quite a few products anyway this is what it looks like so i think it's kind of like meant to be a shimmer body lotion these are obviously were so in last summer everybody loved them for like holidays i'm just gonna put some on my body and see what we think about it feels like quite a nice moisturizer as well it's just meant to be an illuminating radiant glow i mean it's maybe quite a nice little moisturizer if you're looking for a new moisturizer maybe to use in the summer and then to also give you a little bit of glitter a little bit of a glisten on you i don't think it's going to be anything on the fenty glow but um you know it was a pound and it's giving me a little bit of a glitter. Oh, let's go brush our teeth around let's brush our teeth Fresh teeth are done. The next thing I'm going to try out is these nails that I picked up. Now they had a couple of options for nails. Uh, these baby pink ones were my favourite, and they are in the almond shape, which is actually kind of more in this year. I feel so. Go on, pan lad, staying up with them trends. I feel like the nails will be alright. It'll probably just kind of be like down to the glue we'll see i'm gonna put these on my nails we'll see how they look on how long they stay on my nails i feel like they could start pinging off but um i'm gonna give them a go hand one is on they look pretty extra man like these are some claws i feel like they're a bit long for me um I mean, if this is your vibe, they're actually stuck on pretty sturdy and quite well. But, yeah, for me, just a little bit much. But, you know, we're trying them out, seeing how long they last for you guys. So I'll put them on the other hand and we'll see. So, guys, the nails are all on. What do we think? I don't know. I feel like if I was going out, like, out, out or to a dressy event, I mean, they're not bad. Just, yeah, they are pretty in your face. They're pretty long. Um, I have nail glue currently all over my fingers, which is really not good. Like, can you see? A bit where I'm hoping it comes off. Because, yeah, that's just not a vibe. And I don't know how well now I'm going to be able to do all my tasks, like using my phone. Because I don't ever get acrylics anyway, so I'm not used to them as it is. And I'm also hoping when I need them to come off, they'll come off easy. And I'm also hoping that none snap off and, like, break my nails. But anyways... That is the Powerland nails. That is the claws. So I also forgot to mention that I picked these up mainly because I actually needed some new ones and um and I thought it kind of counts as beauty so we can test them out for the video and I've worn them today as I've been wearing a top where I haven't been wearing a bra and it was a little bit see-through on the nipples and these are actually really good but they're good for a one-time use but I don't know whether you'd be able to get them more affordable and get more packs. Um, ones that you could maybe reuse but um yeah pretty good for Poundland to be selling nipple covers it is now a lot later in the day basically the evening now and i kind of just thought for the rest of the day i'm literally just going to chill out so i might as well remove this makeup which i wasn't loving anyway so it is back to using the makeup wipes and then instead of a face mask tonight i'm actually just going to pop on two of these hydrogel eye patches so they sold these and it says it contains four pairs so i'm just going to pop on two of these eye patches because i always feel like on my under eyes is a place that i need to brighten reduce those circles so i'm going to pop some of those on and then that'll be it for the day oh also there was too many tasks where my nails were too annoying some were snapping off anyway so i've taken them all off they were all right for a 24 hour use Put it on there, guys. 
wants us to just leave these on for 10 minutes, I think. Oh no, 20 to 30, so I'ma chill out, remove them, let you know how my under eyes feel after. Okay, it's probably been about 10 minutes and I don't know whether it's a mix between me going from these wipes, which aren't for sensitive skin, or whether it's just this product, but honestly, my under eyes are burning. Ow. I don't even have sensitive skin, but these products keep really just like making my skin sting. And trust me, that ain't a good product to me. Like, I want products that make me feel like fresh and hydrated. <laughs> Ow. I'm not even being dramatic. I feel like under your eyes is so sensitive and it's just really hurt mine. So um, I'm actually gonna throw them in the bin. I might keep these ones just in case it wasn't the products and maybe use them on just like skin that hasn't just had a product on it. But um, yeah. So that was everything from me today, guys, and using only Poundland Beauty for 24 hours. Now, there were some products that I loved, some products that I hate, some products that didn't agree with my skin, some products I will literally be throwing in the bin. Overall, I feel like some of the products in there, especially the branded products that Poundland do, are really affordable, where other shops are probably selling them for a lot more, so I feel like they're great for bargains like that. Some of their own brand stuff, I feel like it's worth maybe paying a little bit more for and it actually working a little bit better. I mean, these products may work better for some people. Maybe it was just my skin type it wasn't agreeing with. Half impressed, half not impressed. And you know, I'm a big lover of Poundland. Nevertheless, just a little bit of something lighthearted. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up. That would mean so much to me and it really helps my channel. And also come subscribe if you don't already. I would love to have you here that would mean so much to me and i can't wait to see you guys soon with a brand new video bye